All right, guys and girls, today we are talking about floor monitors for female vocalists because when we went to go looking for uh, a, a floor monitor that actually doesn't sound like shit, we looked all over YouTube and couldn't find any floor monitors for female vocalists. We go on YouTube and you actually type in monitor female vocalists, you get in-ear monitors, which, you know, on our channel, we have a bunch of stuff about in-ear monitors. Which is, why would they do that? I don't know, <laughs> but I mean, it's like, it seems like someone would have a floor monitor for female vocalists. So after doing a lot And because the female voice it's it's the one that's most irritating. It needs more attention. And irritating. It's higher maintenance. And irritating. Go, bitch. Anyhow, so we did a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of research and trying to find out uh, what is a good uh, vocal monitor for female vocalists. Most of them we had to look through forums and that kind of crap. So we finally came across the Electro Voice, the PXM12MP, which is basically a little 12 inch powered monitor that has a horn built into the speaker, which is pretty cool. And so this is what our review, and we actually set it up and this is our first time we've actually played through it at all, or Alicia has played through it, this one. She played through it. It's the first time she ever sang through it. Is that correct? It is correct. We're not lying. I'm not a plant. Not lying. We are actually invited to review the Electro Voice PXM 12 MP. Yeah, so we were like, well, you know, I did For some, our honest review. Yeah, and I did some research and I was like, cool, this could actually be the monitor. So we're gonna, act, this is our review of the Electro Voice PXM 12 MP. And I'm actually looking at our little teleprompter here that that's why I'm staring at you like weirdly because I'm not actually looking at the lens, I'm looking at the teleprompter, <laughs> right? We would never use the teleprompter. Never use the teleprompter. So this is actually live. First time we ever had the monitor out. We plugged it in and this is Alicia's take of it. But you know, before we actually get started on that, we kind of want to go through and we're going to have Alicia because she is a voiceover artist. She's not just a singer with an irritating female voice. She is actually a voiceover artist as well. I'm very loud. So we are gonna use our little nifty teleprompter and we're gonna read to you. We're gonna read the specs. We're gonna read the we're specs. We're just gonna read the specs. Yeah, so this, right? is, this is what it says when you go and looking for this monitor. Ready? Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. And action. The Electro Voice PXM 12 MP, 12 inches of powered coaxial monitor. 12 inches. 12 inches. Multifunctional monitoring system that is usable as a floor wedge or as a mains PA. A main PA. Acoustically optimized. 55 degree monitor floor angle. Go. Wait, you you totally screwed that up. No, I like it. <laughs> okay. Keep going. Okay, keep going. They know what I'm saying. There you go. Keep reading. Quick Smart DSP features the best in-class processing. Easy setup via four presets, four subtop system match, three band EQ, five user programmable presets. B -b -b visual monitoring of limiter status, input level control, and meters, and master volume control to optimize gain structure all via LCD. Wait, wait, I gotta say something. That actually is a pretty cool feature. And uh, you actually just hit the little button and go through and scroll through your settings. And then if you, you like it for a certain area, don't yawn. Oh, sorry. Yeah, if you like it for a certain area, you can actually save that preset and come back to it later. And then you can actually have a preset for your practice area or a preset for live and you can actually save it inside the monitor or you can wipe it out. Uh, we don't actually use it that way. I actually control all the EQ and limiting in our Behringer uh, X-Air 18. So anyhow, keep reading. I'm not using a teleprompter. You are. Guitar cab setting makes it easy for guitarists to dial in their signature tone. It actually has some built-in guitar uh, effects inside the unit. I haven't actually used that yet, but it does actually have it. 700W, what's that? Uh, it's watts. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> 700 watt Class D power amplifier designed by Dynacord delivers up to 129 dB peak SPL utilizing transducers by EV. Yep. System reliability verified with over 500 hours of 
abuse. Yes. And endurance test. Endurance. Endurance. Testing. This is a uh, monitor porn. What? It's monitor porn. It's monitor porn. porn. Did you get that? No, I didn't get that first line. I don't know how to back up. Hold on, let me back see. Back up. There you go. The 55, the 55 degree. There you go. Oh, but, oh yeah. And the way that, it, that this monitor, and this isn't actually on teleprompter because I can't read teleprompter. Um, uh, I'm not like Joe Biden. <laughs> Anyhow, the monitor. You are, the, you are Joe Biden. I know, I know. Well, let's go Brendan. Anyhow, the, the, the slant of this monitor is actually really, really great. It actually sh shoots you in the face instead of being kind of side and shooting at your feet. It actually shoots you right in the face. I love it. Uh, oh, I think it's over. It is. Ah! It's over. So that is the specs. Now we're going to continue on to our... Our li live review. Our live review. Did no. you see this? Did you see... I mean, this. Yeah. It's November 5th. The 5th of November. Remember, remember. Remember, remember. We just did that. Yeah, we did. So this is our live review and Alicia actually singing through the monitor. Let's check it out. Get your earplugs. Should have all in a mob. Alright, so on the wireless. Check, check, check. Check, check. Yeah, I like this one better. This monitor is so much better than the others. It's kind of like uh, the clarity's good and it's um, it doesn't sound like I've fallen into a black hole. Check, you know what I mean? Yeah. Click, 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 check. Clarity. Clarity! Yeah, it sounds like it's right here, right behind my two front teeth. It's clear, it's not like fallen into a black hole or like a tunnel, you know? You know how I always complain about that? Yeah. This one's better. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, for, as a female vocalist goes, you really like the way this thing sounds. As a female dog, like a bitch? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so as, a, as far as a female vocalist, your, your, your feedback on this monitor is what? Yeah, it's good, it's clear, and it's not, it's, it's crisp. It's not warm and muddy and like way back in a black hole like you're in a cave trying to get out. Yeah, <laughs> hear the reverb. And that's the thing I complain about the most. I want it to feel like it's right here because to me that's what really supports your voice. You know how when you, you hear yourself in your head and you feel supported so you can get through an entire gig? Yeah. And when it's not, when it's way back and you hear it back in the cave and back in the hole, 
For me, it's tough to get through three sets. I have to feel like it's right here, right really face. bright, you know. Yeah, and it's such a small package and lightweight too that it's- It's, it's a very small package. <laughs> Very small package. He's not talking about me. He's talking about the damn monitor. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the monitor. Quit staring at us. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. Don't stare at it. <laughs> <laughs> so just to show you what we're using uh, for the monitor, we're actually going to the X, the X Air 18, right here. Uh, you can see it's in the rack mount, and we have it coming out of uh, Monitor Mix One, and then we, of course, we're also going to the uh, the uh, Universal Controller, which is amazing. There's a video on the on the page just for this Universal Controller. If you're running X Air or Behringer, you must have. And you can see we've done a little work on the monitor. If we come over here, so you can see on channel four, we have just a wireless mic in the monitor and a wired mic right now, uh, with a little bit of music coming through. So we go to the music part of this. And then uh, we got a little bit of reverb going on. But on the EQ, actually what I'm, I, I did kind of adjust the EQ a little bit. You can see I, I curved off the bass, which is kind of normal for, uh, you know, working on monitor mixes. You don't want a lot of bass and low rumble and you're not really gonna hear anything uh, really too musical out of there. And it's kind of more adjusted for vocals. So I did cut some of the, the mid lows out. Um, and then right here, a little bit of, uh, with her, Wireless mic, I had a little bit of uh, feedback issue, so I actually cut that, but you can still see some nice high gain. But everything else is pretty flat, except for right here and right here, and that's just because of the mic issue, not really the monitor issue. So that's kind of what mic you're using. You have to actually um, do that to your liking. But it's really good with the Xair 18. You have, you have a whole uh, actual EQ for any of your monitor mixes, you know, this is our, this is my monitor, this is my in-ears, uh, three is Alicia's in-ears, and four is her, f her floor monitor, where it's just mainly EQ'd for vocals, which is the EV that we're going through right now. All right, so cool, that's, that's Alicia singing live through the monitor. And, What'd you think? And, don't tell me. Yeah, don't tell me. What did you think? I, oh, I thought the monitors were great. I, I did too, I mean, I thought, or the you know, monitor. It's not like a like when we've gone out on the road and played with huge artists and and they have really expensive like Myers systems. They're not like that, you know. Uh, but as far as like if you're in a club or practice area, I would say it's top of the line. Honestly, I think it's better than the huge concert ones. Those huge concert ones are so boomy. Yeah. So boomy. I I think this was actually better. It's just real clear and crisp and. I'm you know. a bass player, so I like the boominess. Yeah, yeah, I don't I don't like that in the voice. I yeah. like it in the bass. <laughs> and the three way. She likes the three way about it, and the twelve inches. The specification of three ways. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, so listen. If you like any of the gear, any gear we have listed and checked out, there's a link to it description. And yes, it is an Amazon affiliate link, so it does help the channel. You know, but it's the same price any place you go. So if you do want to check it out, there it is. And this is the actual monitor we are going to stick with. We're not just doing it because, you know, they asked us to do a thing. Um, but, you know, they did ask us and we actually do love the monitor and all of our gear is EV for our actual sound system anyhow. So it works out Did they out ask good. us not to say the word bitch this time? Say the word bitch? Yeah. No, we can say bitch. Oh, I thought they said not to use the word bitch this time. I don't know. Fuck. What bunch of we bitches? Might to, we might have to record this over. Yeah, screw them. All right, so make sure you like, subscribe, and comment in here. If you have any questions, you know, just leave them in the comments. And either me or Alicia, the beautiful Alicia M. Perone. We're not sure what the M means. We'll get back to you later. Hey, guys, it's Victor. And it's Alicia from Fans of Jimmy Century. Can you guys do us a mondo favor and go over and subscribe? to our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash FOJC TV. We'll tell you why later. Later! later.